What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Country Cast. I hope you guys are having a great day out there so far. We are going to go ahead and jump right into our news story for today. And our story today surrounds the chicks who used to officially go by the Dixie Chicks. However, as most of you probably already know, the chicks dropped Dixie from their name recently, and now uh, they just go by the Chicks. So was the decision to uh, drop Dixie from their name something that just kind of happened at the spur of the moment during uh, what is happening in the United States right now? Or was this something that the band had been considering for some time, but just never did. Well, it's a little bit of both, and the band thought that the name Dixie Chicks was stupid. And in just a moment, we are gonna get to an interview that the Chicks did with the New York Times uh, about their decision to drop Dixie from their name. But first, where did the name the Dixie Chicks even come from, and how did the band uh, get the name. Well, in that interview with the New York Times, it was explained that back in 1989, when Emily Strayer and Marty McGuire uh, were part of the initial group, which Natalie Maines was not a part of the initial Dixie Chicks, but when Emily Strayer and Marty McGuire were part of the initial group, they decided to name themselves the Dixie Chicks after a little feat song known as Dixie Chicken. Marty McGuire stated, we were literally teenagers when we picked that stupid name. Now here's where things get a little bit interesting because Natalie Maine spoke up about the name as well, but again, she was not part of the original Dixie Chicks, but apparently uh, she stated, we wanted to change it years and years and years ago. I just wanted to separate myself from people that wave that Dixie flag. Later in the interview, Emily Strayer uh, chimed in and explained that she noticed a Confederate flag on Instagram titled the Dixie Swastika. And she stated her thought was, I don't want anything to do with that. So it does appear that the band has been wanting to change their name for some time. Plus with Emily Strayer coming across what she found with the Confederate flag online with the current events in the United States, uh, they made the switch to the Chicks. But when you think about all of this, the Dixie Chicks, of course, started in 89. They really had a lot of energy and flourished in the 90s, and that's when they were known as the Dixie Chicks. So I think it's going to be hard for a lot of folks to not associate this trio with the Dixie Chicks instead of just the Chicks. But uh, things could be rebranded, which they already are uh, starting to happen for the band. They initially were going to put out their new album, then they had to push the date back where they changed the look and rebranded everything and finally um, got a release date for the new album with the new look. So the Chicks are now the Chicks, but I think when you really look at how much energy and what was behind them at the time of their name and when they were at their peak, who knows, they could probably peak again, but uh, the Chicks, I think a lot of folks are just going to stick with the Dixie Chicks because that's how they know them. And uh, that's when they had their biggest fan base at the time, most likely. And um, I just think we're going to hear them as the Dixie Chicks and the Chicks just... It may not work for some country folks out there. It just may not work. But guys, let us know what you think down below in the comments if you agree with Marty McGuire and think that the name was stupid. If you think the name, the Dixie Chicks, was stupid, uh, let us know either way down below in the comments and how you guys feel about what they had to say about the drop of Dixie from their name. Guys, that will be it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn those notifications on for breaking updates on your favorite country artists and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.